welcome to another quick and easy painting video. Here I'll show you how to get your Teutonic Sergeants painted and on the table from the Joan of Arc game. So let's go. So I painted, uh, or I guess primed, all these miniatures a light gray, um, just all over. You can, you know. This was, I think, the best choice. Uh, we're going to be using some transparent contrast paint, so that'll work. And then the first color that I painted was all the, the cloth and the light colored uh, shield. So I used a Procryl Bright Ivory. Now, I also think I could have just painted uh, either, you know, airbrushed the whole model after I primed it, just painted the whole thing this color. Um, because everything else is going to get covered up with a contrast paint, which is transparent, but will look fine, maybe a little bright over this ivory or the metallics, which would totally cover up this uh, paint um, in any way. So I just went ahead on these six models that I painted. We're only going to show one here. I just hand brushed all the um, uh, light colored cloth and the shield this color. Now, I only show you in this video the first layer, but I, I know there's areas that I went back and, and hit um, two or three times just so that it was a pretty solid uh, coverage there. Um, I didn't want to use white. Um, it's I would rather use that as, you know, to highlight all the way up to a white. Um, a regular ivory to me was a little too yellow and I wanted more of that white. So you can find, you know, something in whatever paint line you're using that will work for this. Um, you know, you could even, if you used white, you could just add some gray in there. You just, you want it to be, you know, not completely bright. We will be highlighting uh, these models, kind of advanced um, step, but we'll be highlighting those. Then the metallics, at first I thought, well, I'll just uh, cover the whole thing in metallics. But then I looked at looking at the pictures in the card art and the models themselves. And I'm like, well, you know, there's not that much metallic to it. There's the, uh, the weapon, the ax head, his helmet pretty much covers his whole face, uh, face, his, you know, feet, you know, that's about it. The um, cross guard on the sword or hand weapon you know, you'll see that and, you know some small things but th there's not really a lot of metallics on this so uh, I'm glad I almost went back before I looked at the model closer in the card art and just primed them with a, uh, a silver primer and I'm, I'm glad I didn't because it, it would not have been very effective this uh, the amount of things that are covered here the hand um, gauntlets or gloves you know stuff like that it's, it's real small small area so you can uh, you can cover it up with a brush pretty easy again these models uh, there wasn't anything that I remember like trying to clean up mold lines these, these models are so small 15 millimeter scale you know once you put them on a base with two or three of them a lot, you know, it gets obscured. A lot of the things uh, do get obscured by having three of these models on a base. So now, next step is just painting the wood handle. Um, you, you know, you can use any brown. I use contrast wildwood. Love the color. This is just uh, um, without any added medium um, or anything. So just, you know, putting it on there. You know, I like it because it's not a solid opaque color. Um, so it does add some, you know, variation, what, you know, tonal variation. It's not just all brown. There's some light areas where, you know, you started the brush stroke and it'll be darker where you picked up your brush. And then we're going to add a, like a, the slightest little highlight to it. Um, but uh, it's just a quick and easy way, I believe, for these small models. Plus, it's just uh, more liquidy <laughs> less viscous i guess so it's uh, just goes on super easy super quick and it's just uh, the handle pole handle for his weapon there all right so now uh, there's some leather bits and straps and 
belts and stuff. So I use contrast snake bite leather. Um, you know, you can use any, you know, any brown, just, you know, it's easy enough to switch to a different brown, which I wanted to do because that's really about the only colors we're going to use. Maybe some gray and then uh, a different color on the base, but you know, two different browns. It kind of goes a long way. So there's a, you know, his, I guess, sword or dagger scabbard there on his right side that I'm painting there. His belt that goes not only around his waist, but over his shoulder and then kind of dangles down in front of him because he's, he's a sergeant. He wants to look cool like that. And I just, uh, I think, yeah, there's this larger scabbard, like a sword scabbard that goes all the way to the ground on his left side here. So it's kind of a weird shape. And then also I think there's some modeling things that why it gets so thick there at the bottom, but I just decided to cover the whole thing up. It needed to be painted something and it just kind of all blends together this way. I think I also do, yep, we got the little strap go that goes over his shoulder. It, it extends past the, uh, the weapon there. So I just went off the card art to, uh, see what needed to happen which reminded me this part right here there's a like a leather strap that goes across their uh, the foot armor piece there so uh, there's not a whole lot of other details on this uh, model so kind of need to do that I just use a dark gray you could use black but black is kind of boring so I use the gray for the handle um, on his dagger, I think I actually painted the cross bar as well, but I'm going to paint that silver, so that's unnecessary. But uh, there's, I think that was the only dark bits on here. Yeah. And yeah, came back after I painted the buckles and belts, went back with some silver and a smaller brush, smaller tipped brush, to get the, the buckle and went back here and got the cross bar. On the dagger and I believe there's a crossbar on the sword on his left side as well and the dangling part of his belt also has a buckle right here so we'll get that part I want to do another video here in the future covering probably the Teutonic Knights because there's several of them uh, I'm trying to, I'm looking on my desk right now three six 12 I guess and just to do those as a batch paint and see you know how long this how long it would take to paint all 12 of those uh, this one model I think the video time here is about 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes to paint it uh, of course editing it out all the times I go back to my palette and stuff like that to wash my brush also note while I was painting this my sister my phone was just going off with text like crazy and I said I would put it in the video because she got uh, her first medical paper uh, she was co-author on published so i said i would mention that in the video there you go sista it has been done <laughs> next up is uh, covering the whole model uh, oh i did the base with just a, a, a brown a dark umber and now i'm going over the entire model with a wash a black wash just to create some shadows uh, and so that we can uh, get some more definition you can use whatever um, you know, strong wash uh, but I, I, I like the black for this so just going over the whole thing you want to see what happens on the shield here I kind of you know I go over it here I'm gonna hit the rest of the, uh, uh, the it's not a cape uh, his robes sort and it starts just in this few seconds here. It is dried enough. And I'm in, you know, Arizona. So it's things are just kind of arid here. Going around here. But it started to dry already. And gets uh, kind of sticky, a little tacky. I'm trying to go, I'm going over. The, um, I kind of wipe off my brush. See, it's kind of dry there. Or it's just not wet. Uh, with a bunch of wash and just trying to soak up or wick up some of the spots like in those creases I, you know I didn't want that much but I'm fixing to hit the back of the shield here and you're gonna see what happens it's not great 
see how it just kind of it was scabby and I kind of messed it up. So I'm going to be painting the the black cross here. So you know it's going to be broken up. We're going to highlight it. Just don't freak out if it happens. Here I just took some black paint and made a simple cross emblem on the back. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna, with some highlighting, we'll be able to clean it up a little bit, but come on. Uh, again, some of these are gonna be obscured once they're on the bases. You just kind of want the idea. So this was probably the longest part of it. Um, I don't know, I can't see how long on the video, but probably about five minutes or so that of highlighting. So you can see how I highlighted. This is just the same bright ivory, thinned it out with some water, and I'm just moving from the center to the outwards. That's where, I, you know, wherever you pick up your brush, it's gonna leave the more, it's gonna deposit the most amount of paint, and that's where the brightest highlight would be. So that's why I work from the center outwards, uh, kind of the, the same thing, you know. It's not intuitive for me to paint that way it's actually the exact opposite um, so i have to kind of think about that you know where do i want to leave or deposit that paint so working up to the highlights um, on all these folds of the um, those uniformist robes there and i'm going to make several passes over this um, it's a light color, it's white, it's basically a white, so um, it's very transparent already. Got a little bit on the base there, just wipe that off. Go back on the, uh, after it dries, which just takes a minute, um, and hitting those highlights again. I kind of see that sharp line there, I don't really like it, so I just kind of hit it again. It's just, you know, building it up. You know, th this is actually one of the first models. Uh, it is the first model from the 1.5 expansion that I've painted. And so I was like, you know what? Uh, it's just six models. I'm gonna put some, you know, some little highlights on it. Now you could probably thin it less, um, or not so much, and, you know, spend one minute <laughs> highlighting this. But I was like, ah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, was, I was pretty happy. With, uh, with the highlights, I, but and I still want to keep this quick and easy, so I didn't even take the highlights up to a white, you know, a smaller area with a brighter highlight. I'm just using the paint that was already on my palette, hitting some prominent um, areas that kind of stood out. These, you know, these two folds kind of right here on the front of his uh, tunic, I guess is what it's called. Um, I'll hit the, the left knee. There's just these two areas. There's two little dots that I just hit on like his chest part of the uniform. On the card art, you, you can see like the cross, the black cross uh, on there. And there's just, I didn't really, I couldn't see any way to paint that on that you'd be able to see. So it's like, ah, you know what? Let me just hit a highlight just to show that it's cloth. Otherwise it just kind of, it gets lost in, because it's not defined by the, you know, you got the, the hand, the metallics of the hand, the pole, the, the leather uh, strap going across his chest. So it's like, ah, let I me mean, just hit a couple of dots there of white so that you can tell, define that that is part of the uniform and not something else. You just don't know what else. And here again, just trying to clean up the shield a little bit because shields are cool. Our eyes are drawn to them. So for the highlight, the, the last two little highlights are the leather. And so again, I just take what's on my palette. I took some of the ivory and mixed in some of the contrast paint. And you know, these models are so small, you don't want to have, as my name says, smooth, a smooth blend highlight. It's too small. You want a sharp contrast, a sharp highlight. So uh, right there, just kind of stippling on just a little bit of a highlight to give it some definition to the shape. And that's it. This literally, you know, just took a few moments to do one highlight. We're gonna end up doing the same thing on the ax, uh, the weapon handle here. Just some of that bright ivory or whatever light color you used mixed with the whatever brown you used for um, the ax handle. Remember, we already put that Nolan oil on it, so 
that's going to create, you know, it's going to darken it and, you know, maybe create a little shadow, a little tonal variation. And now we're putting this highlight on it. Nice and easy. All right. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun to make getting these models. We have uh, three of the ones that I did there kind of finished up next to the card art. Hey, if you would uh, like and subscribe to this video, uh, check out some of the, or the playlist for the other Joan of Arc models that I have. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will get back to everybody that uh, leaves a comment. All right. Enjoy your day.